So here we have another SQL question. So we're still using the dog database. So it's the dog sitting service. There are two tables, this dog and job. So dog has these fields and job has these ones. There's a little bit of example data there as well. So we've got two delete queries. So we've done most of the other types. We've looked at those before, but deleting we've not really looked at. So first of all, deleting all the dogs who departed before the 1st of January 2022. So perhaps we want to tidy up the table a bit, get rid of dogs that departed a long time ago from the table. Um, so the SQL for this is fairly straightforward. So we use delete from, and then it's the table name. So we need dog. But obviously if we just deleted everything from dog, that's not what we want. So we need a where clause. So where date departed is before or less than 01, 01, 20, and we can put our semicolon on the end, it's the last bit. So we've done that one for deleting from dog. So we might also want to delete something from the jobs table. So we might decide that all the jobs for dog ID number one want to be deleted. Um, either because it's got different, we've got a different dog or a different ID for that, or we've got rid of it. Um, so we can do exactly the same. We can say delete, delete from jobs this time, where dog ID equals 001. And that will delete everything from the table where the dog ID is 001. Um, so you might um, notice that uh, obviously we're joined, uh, the fields are joined together with a foreign key mechanism here. So in the real world, uh, we would have several methods of doing this. If we deleted a dog from here, we either wouldn't be allowed to delete that dog until we deleted all the jobs for the dog, or we'd have to use something. The management system for the database might use something called cascade delete. So when we deleted a dog from here, it would automatically delete all of the dogs from this, the dog jobs from the jobs table uh, for that dog that we've deleted. So the way I've just done it now is just for the, the sake of us thinking about using the different table to delete something with a where clause, but in the real world, if they were linked together like this with the foreign key, it's a primary key at this end, a foreign key at this end, then um, it would enforce referential integrity. So I wouldn't be allowed to delete this dog from this table until I'd got rid of all the references to it from this one. So that uh, it's not really GCSE, it's a slightly beyond GCSE that is, but um, if you were wondering well, why that, why we might end up with some dogs in this table that no longer existed, then yeah, the database management system has to deal with that.